Lastly, we're thinking about how can we help you find new video ideas. We have recently launched an experiment to some of you where you can see the popularity of certain search terms and whether or not they are content gaps. We want to expand that and help you with things like, hey, which topics are trending on YouTube or which videos are sort of growing in popularity with your audience, all with the idea of like, how can we help you expand your audience or if like find new topics for your existing audience. So did you guys get that? No? All right, let me explain. That video came directly from the Creator Insider channel, which is the official informal YouTube channel run by the YouTube technical team. And in that channel, they tend to give us advice on how to grow our YouTube channel. And they also give us a glimpse on what's to come down the line that can be very useful for us YouTubers. That video I showed you just then, they just said that they're experimenting with a new YouTube channel, which basically deploys an AI that crawls our YouTube channel and it tells us which video in our channel is performing extremely well with our audience. And once you identify that, you can start creating more of that type of content in order to grow your audience much faster because one of your videos managed to click with your viewers. As far as I understand, this is specific to our YouTube channel. So this feature is going to benefit any YouTubers. It doesn't matter if you are doing gaming or education or talking hate videos like mine, we are all going to get benefit out of it and we are all going to win. Now wait a second, doesn't this feature sound awfully familiar? That's right guys, this is the exact feature that was made available by vidIQ a few months ago called vidIQ Daily Ideas. The idea behind vidIQ Daily Ideas is to help you find new content ideas that can potentially grow your YouTube channel. Now, the problem with vidIQ Daily Ideas is it is not as accurate and sometimes the idea it gives us doesn't make any sense and it is certainly not something that is applicable. Basically, the ideas given only make sense to a robot and makes no sense to any human being, but I'm sure it'll get better over time. Okay, so what does this all mean to us as YouTubers? Very simple. It means we do not have to do as much keyword research as we used to. I don't know about you guys, but I spend a hell lot of time doing research on keywords and topics. And I'm not talking about a couple of minutes. I'm talking about one to two hours doing research on topics and titles. And that's a lot of time to me. If YouTube can help me save those time by providing me content ideas that work and can grow my audience, then I'm all for it. Then I will have more time to focus on what's more important for my YouTube channel, which is to create better quality video and thumbnails and leave marketing to YouTube. Doing keywords and topic research is tedious work. In a nutshell, I always start by writing down all the topics I want to talk about, topics I think on the fly, and topics I find interesting. Then I start searching those topics on YouTube to see what channels cover it, to see how many views they are getting and also how old they are. If it is a topic that gets many views, then it will be a topic I can tap into. If this topic does not have that many views, then it is a bad topic and isn't something I should waste my time on producing. But the most uncertain part for me here, and also the biggest variable, is the fact that sometimes the topic I identified may seem like it will work but it only works if it is done by a big YouTube channel. And this is the part that kind of pisses me off most because it may look like I have found a gap and I start spending my time creating the video and the video tanks, which sucks. If YouTube can come up with a feature that tells us which videos we did are working and YouTube managed to identify that gap for us, then in theory, any videos we start creating from now on is going to get us more views than usual. As always, this is not guaranteed because nothing in this world is guaranteed. I can only tell when this feature is rolled out to more channels and that is when I can test it out on my own channel. But for now, this looks promising and I'm looking forward to it. All right, so how can you leverage on this new feature when it comes out? Or better yet, how can you start leveraging on this new feature now so that when it comes out, your channel is fully prepared. I'm going to go a little nerdy on this one, so bear with me for a second. 
This new feature is obviously going to be run by artificial intelligence or AI for short. And in order for the AI to improve, it first needs to understand your YouTube channel very well. AI learns best when it is fed with data. The more data you can give it, the more it can learn, the better the prediction becomes, and the content idea it offers will be more accurate. One of the ways you can prepare now is by uploading more video content. These are all data to YouTube AI, so the more you can upload, the more it learns. Try your best to stick to your niche when you create new videos as well. It will help the AI and not make it confusing. And you don't want it to be confused because the AI becomes dumb then. There are a few things I can think of that the AI looks at when trying to understand your channel. First is the title of your videos. For mine, I talk mostly about growing a YouTube channel, so each of my video titles will have keywords related to growing a YouTube channel, like getting views or subscribers or just mentioning the words YouTube channel. Second is the description of your videos. This is like the place for you to be as descriptive as possible on your video. You can type as many as you want or as little, whatever suits you, but this is definitely a place the AI will look at. I don't spend that much time here as I used to. I tend to write about 5 to 10 sentences, each of them containing important keywords, and then I'm done with it. I think what's more important here is to make it relatable and meaningful rather than keyword stuffing. The third and final one is what you say on your video. YouTube is now smart enough to translate what you say into text for you, as you can probably tell when they create subtitles for you automatically. To me, this is more important than what you type in your description. I find YouTube prioritizes this over the description, so do your best here to try and say keywords in your videos naturally. Like for me, the more I say about YouTubers or growing a YouTube channel or getting more subscribers or getting more views or making money off your YouTube channel, the more YouTube will know that I cover topics related to growing a YouTube channel and making money off of it. Now, for those of you who use any YouTube keyword research tools like vidIQ or TubeBuddy, what does this all mean to you? This is my personal opinion and I base this on the direction YouTube is heading, but vidIQ and TubeBuddy are in serious trouble because their business model is in jeopardy. The whole idea of having vidIQ and TubeBuddy is to help you find keywords and topics that work. Their purpose is to help you identify gaps that you can tap into so that you can get your small little YouTube channel running. But now their features are slowly getting replaced and soon small YouTubers may not need to do as much keyword research anymore. And best of all, we are getting all of these fantastic features from YouTube for free. VidIQ has been improving a lot lately, but their new feature, VidIQ Daily Ideas, it is going to get crushed by YouTube's own variation. Because YouTube has a lot more data collected than VidIQ, so naturally, their AI is going to be able to give you ideas that are far more accurate. Okay, so in conclusion, after all that I've said, I'm still a tad bit skeptical on whether this feature is going to benefit small YouTube channels. For some reason, everything that YouTube does is in favor of established channels. I don't know, I guess we'll find out soon enough. But YouTube is definitely heading in the right direction for this one. The key to a good platform is to always be improving and growing. YouTube is already making search videos obsolete. And if you haven't noticed it yet, be sure to check out this video over here for more information. Alright, that's it guys. Thumbs up, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.